with Ahl Gaza in particular, and with the amount of death that we're seeing, I almost, like, I feel worse for those who survive than I do those who die. Those who are shuhada, there's a comfort that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking care of them now and that they don't feel the pain anymore. Like you have to you have to imagine that conversation that Allah Azza wa documented. You know, we forget the ayat in Surah Ali Imran. Uh, until the end of it. Um, you know, that, that do not say of those who have been killed uh, or who have been martyred that they are dead, rather they are alive. Um, and Allah Azza wa is providing for them. Um, right? They're, they're happy now. And they're pleased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bestowing upon them. They're waiting for their relatives, their loved ones to join them. That was a conversation with the Shuhada of Uhud, right? Where the Shuhada of Uhud wanted their relatives that were left behind to know that they were okay. Uh, to know that they were that they were being taken care of. So the fact that it's recorded as a conversation or as a result of a conversation in the Quran, the ayat of the Shuhada, like when people are Shuhada in Ghazda, I don't look at the state of their bodies after they've been martyred. I don't look at the numbers, the casualty count. Um, I feel sad for the negligence that has led to their death. But at the same time, I feel content with their shahada. I feel almost worse. Actually, I do feel worse for those that are missing limbs and loved ones and that are still living in the starvation and the misery and the psychological torture of it all. And so processing that means stopping, stopping the atrocity as much as possible, being part of whatever effort. And part of that effort is du'a. In fact, it's the greatest effort is du'a uh, for those that are still alive. So when it's personal loss, it's, it's more of like, how do I get on with life now that that person's not here and do what's best for their afterlife and my afterlife? When it's not personal loss, when it's people that that are that are dying far away that are being oppressed and you know i it, it's more about how do i take care of those that are left behind because they lost their personal loved ones and because they've lost many personal things so it's almost like directing the empathy towards them uh, towards uh, towards what what's still left 